No, organic does not mean safer. Organic does not mean more nutritious. And organic does not mean better for the environment. Yes, there are regulations regarding the USDA certified organic label, but those regulations don't translate into any of those things. At the end of the day, it is a marketing label. And those regulations are restrictions that are based on ideology and the appeal to nature fallacy rather than evidence. All right, so let's get into the part where I'm making money pushing processed food. So yes, I am a food scientist. Yes, I develop food products. First of all, processed, it's being used in this context, obviously in a negative way, when in reality, mostly everything we eat is processed to some extent. Processing can help make food safer. Processing can even make foods more nutritious. Processing can make foods more accessible. So processing in and of itself is not a negative thing. Second of all, I develop products based on what the market wants. My 10 plus years as a food scientist, that has mostly been natural, organic, non-GMO. So getting foods organic certified, getting foods non-GMO verified, that's just extra paperwork, extra time. I consult, I get paid by the hour. That's actually more money for me. So if you're claiming that I am somehow being a shill for what I'm promoting, I would be promoting organic and non-GMO. Also quite ironic that I'm always being called the shill when the people that I debunk are typically directly profiting off of the misinformation that they're sharing on social media. Yes, thank you for this comment. So organic farming can use pesticides too. It's just a subset of the pesticides used in conventional farming. So they just quite literally can't use all of the tools in the toolbox, even if that means a synthetic alternative to something that organic farmers can use would be more effective and could be used at lower rates and could be less harmful to the environment. If it's not approved for organic farming, they can't use it. This is why it's problematic because a lot of that is just based on ideology and the appeal to nature fallacy um, versus actual evidence. I tell people that organic uses pesticides too, I tend to get the reaction of like, oh, I don't know what to eat now because now it's all bad. But we have to understand that using pesticides as a part of a large and very detailed risk assessment, if pesticides weren't used in farming, we would lose upwards of 50% of the food that we grow to pests and diseases. The other part of the risk assessment always seems to be ignored as to what would happen if we didn't use pesticides. It'd be a lot more food waste and we'd need a lot more land to grow the same amount of food. 